Most of us have been told at one time or another to never lose hope. This plea is particularly common when dealing with medical problems, but new University of Michigan Health System research indicates that there may be a dark side to hope when dealing with disease or chronic medical conditions. In our current research at the University of Michigan, we studied patients who had brand new colostomies. They had their colons removed and they had to have bowel movements in a pouch that lays outside of their body. We wanted to know how happy people were, how they emotionally adapted to this new colostomy. One of the groups was given hope that this colostomy would be reversible. The other group, hope was taken away. They knew they had to live with this forever. All else equal, it should be better to have hope than to not have hope. And yet when we followed people over about six months, we found that the group with the permanent colostomy, no hope of having normal bowel function again, were happier. We think that the people with the permanent colostomies therefore had no hope of normal bowel function. We think they were happier because they got on with their lives. They realized these were the cards they were dealt, so they had to play with those cards. Whereas the other group who were waiting for the, the colostomy to get reversed, waiting to have normal bowels again, they were waiting. They had their lives on hold. We do look at hope as an important part of happiness, and I'm not saying we should be taking all hope away from all people in all situations. But we do have to be aware that there's a dark side of hope. That sometimes if hope makes you put off getting on with your life, it can get in the way of happiness. So patients of mine with chronic pain, for example, some of them are they're not applying for jobs because they want to get their pain under control first. And if it takes months, months, maybe years to get their pain under control, they're not out in the workforce and they're miserable because of it. I don't think it's ever good to take hope away. I think we have to be careful about building up people's hope so much so that they put off living their lives.